Well, now to our continuing series, The Age of AI. About 5,000 people a year in the U.S. are diagnosed with ALS. That's also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. And the deadly disease affects the nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord, causing patients to lose their ability to move and speak. CBS's chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook, shows us how artificial intelligence is helping patients preserve their voices. Hi, my name is Brian, and this is my story of living with ALS. 46-year-old Brian Johnson talks to the world about his journey with ALS through TikToks, making the videos with his family and caregivers. He began recording them when he was still able to speak on his own. I'm married for almost 18 years. I have five kids. But nothing that is taken away makes me upset. I was losing my ability to speak. But with the help of artificial intelligence, Johnson has been able to keep his ability to speak through a process called voice preservation. Imagine having no way to communicate your wants or needs or your love. Voice preservation gives that back to us. This in many ways saved my life. Can you understand me okay? CBS News first covered voice preservation seven years ago as ALS patients at Boston Children's Hospital recorded their voices for playback later when they lost their ability to speak. Since then, the technology has only improved. In what way has AI impacted voice preservation? It's allowing people to have to record fewer messages. The quality is far superior to what we were able to do in the early days. We spoke with Johnson and his wife Christy through Zoom, allowing him to have some of the questions in advance since he has to type out all his answers in real time. The camera on his device tracks his eye movements so they function like a cursor. What do you think of that technology? I am amazed by it. The fact that I can sound kind of like me is a true gift to me and my family. To me, he's there. His voice is there. It's totally life-changing. Voice preservation can cost more than $1,000, but there are nonprofits that can help. I promise to learn to love you more beautifully each day. On their 20th wedding anniversary, Johnson used the technology to repeat his wedding vows, continuing to communicate his love for her and for life. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.